Okay, I'm here with Sophia. And where are you from? Canada, Toronto. Nice. And have you ever been to the USA? I have. Okay. They're my neighbors to the south, so I've been quite a few times. Okay. Where have you been when you've gone there? Uh, I've been to New York, I've been to LA, Miami, all the major cities. And what's the longest you spent in the USA? A week. A week? Okay. Yes. But quite a few times. Yes. Okay, great, fantastic. So first question is, describe the USA in one word. Chaotic. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Go on, expand on that. It's a very polarized environment. You know, you have people doing everything in the name of freedom, and whatever they think freedom is, they're doing it. <laughs> And what do you think of Americans in general? How did you find them when you were there? It's hard to generalize as a general population. I think, you know, Americans come in all shapes, sizes, types of people. So I, that's a big generalization. I think they're patriotic, if nothing else. So I'll give them that. Okay. They have more uh, spirit than Canadians, that's okay. for sure. Okay. The US election is taking place this year. Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. Who do you think will win? Oh, I hope Kamala Harris. If I could vote in the American election, she'd have my vote for sure, hands okay. down. Okay. And why is that? Because she has has common sense, she's sane, and uh, I don't think she, she didn't incite anarchy on the Capitol Hill, so I think that's enough said right there. Okay, fair enough. Do you want to expand on anything you think about Donald Trump? I think if you hear him say anything, he speaks for himself. <laughs> okay. Do you have a favorite American celebrity, and if so, who is it? My favorite American celebrity? Oprah. Nice. Duh. Okay, yeah. Okay. Why is that? Well, I saw her speak at the DNC last week. You know, it was great to see her come out and support a good cause. And she's so well spoken, she's so intelligent, and she represents the best of America. She represents me, yo. Let me borrow twenty dollars. <laughs> what do you hate most about America or the USA? That they think that they're better than everybody else. And what do you like most about the USA? That's a tough one. Oh, I like all the like national parks. They have beautiful scenery there, and I think Americans should go out and enjoy it more. <laughs> What's your favorite national park that you went to in the US? Uh, Colorado National Park is beautiful. What do you think is the best influence that the USA has had in the world? You know, I would say historically they've defended democracy worldwide, you know, it's been very good for the West, especially as a Canadian, to have them as a global hegemon um, internationally, so I think that is probably the best thing that they've done, and hopefully we'll see them continue to do that. Whoever wins the next presidency, I hope they uphold that. And what's their worst influence in the world, do you think? Like I said, I think they think they're the best, and I think that a little bit of humbling might be necessary to move into this next chapter for the United States. Um, and if there's one thing you could change about the USA, what would it be? Vote for Kamala Harris. This election shouldn't be so tight. Uh, that's one thing I would change. I don't think it should be, we shouldn't be on razor thin margins here. It's so obvious to the rest of the world and I hope that the United States is listening and that they make the right choice. Okay, thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank Fantastic. You. Nice thank, you, thank, you. You. thank you. I am here with Wang Mengqing. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Beijing, China. What brings you to the UK? To take a summer camp in Oxford. Nice. And now I have three extra days traveling in London. So today's question is about the USA. So so when you think about the USA, what's the first word that comes to mind when you describe it? Actually for me and most Chinese, the uh, first word come to mind is opportunities. Yes, okay. because uh, we are taught that uh, uh, actually the elder generation, uh, many people move to USA to find their jobs and find the opportunities and they, they want to be the uh, civilian of the USA, so they stayed here. So that's the uh, impress for Chinese what the USA means, okay. opportunities. What do you think about both of them? How do you think the election will go? Actually, I have no idea, but but I guess maybe Donald Trump, uh, I guess. What are your thoughts on both of them? Whoever be the president, they, they will not be very kind to China. <laughs> yes. That's interesting. I, I guess there are lots of reasons why that could be the case, but why do you think that will be the case, that whoever becomes president in the US will not be nice to China? Because actually USA is the strongest country in the world, and in latest years I think USA take China as their enemies, and we have trade war, so I don't think either of them to be the president will be kind of us. Too competitive between the two countries. Yes. Have you ever been to the US? One time. Where did you go? What did you do? Another summer camp, and I travel cost, both costs, maybe some, some place like uh, California and uh, New York. Given that you've actually been to the US, what were your thoughts or how did you find Americans to be when you went there? Actually, I think it's a good country and actually New York is one of my favorite cities I've ever visited. Why is that? Why is New York your favorite? The tall buildings and the technology, uh, the modern world, uh, it is uh, the modern city would be. Talking about technology, what's your favorite technology to come out of the USA? My favorite. Throughout history, maybe, uh, uh, 
many things like lifts. They are mostly impressive technology. I think the, they use down on their navy and their their the, the military force is also very impressive. And I think it it will take many years for other countries to get on them. What do you like most or love most about the USA? Uh, the culture, mixed culture. I think USA is like I say, it's the capital of the whole world. And uh, yes, many people, many races of people living here, and their their culture mixed together, and they they live together. Uh, may, maybe they they love each other. So I this is the point. I love this country. Okay, and what do you hate about the US or don't like about the US? Mm, their relationship be between USA and the other countries is the uh, first thing because they are the strongest. So they. They don't want to, the other countries to get progress. I, I think that. And second thing is phenomena through their society, like the racial discrimination and gender discrimination. We think it's very dangerous to live in here because every people have guns and they always... If you could change one thing about the USA, what would it be? Perhaps the phenomena of racial discrimination. Do you want to elaborate on that? In what way do you think or see America as a place that has racial discrimination? The news reported and uh, like the last year or few years ago, uh, the white police killed a, a black person and many other things like this and some people in there don't like uh, Jewish and some people there don't like Asian and I, I think uh, oh, oh, even some white people don't like Italian as, as regulars mm -hmm. and I, I, I think this is a problem of the uh, American society that they should change. What do you think is the best influence that the US has in the world? Their influence on finance and on technology. Okay. I think that's the that's the best influence they made. As you can see, when we go abroad and we we purchase something, we, uh, we use their cards and they will count in, in US dollars. And this is uh, what, what USA achieved in their, in their finance. Now they are the richest country in the world, so I think US dollar is the most reliable thing, reliable current in the world. What's the worst influence that you think the US has in the world? The war. Uh, I think the USA is mm, is raising up war uh, everywhere in the no, not everywhere but many wars in in the whole world. Actually, their governments uh, I, I think they they love war and they they don't gain to peace. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Such as the uh, USA beat maybe Iraq and many uh, other countries and and they they are now uh, talking about China. They are causing many problems. I want problems! For example, they are trying to separate uh, Taiwan province from our country and this is a very bad thing to do and I, I don't like them. So uh, I think America, especially the governments here, should think about what they can do to the peace of the world. I'm here with Charlotte. Charlotte, nice to meet you, Charlotte. And where for, are you from in the UK? Buckinghamshire. You've been to the US. Tell me about your experience with the US. I studied there for a year at Indiana University. What did you study? History. Why Indiana University? Why the US in general? Uh, it's one of the top party schools and they have a really good uh, basketball program. Okay. Yeah. Were you doing basketball there? No, I just wanted to watch it. What, what was the party scene like then? Just lots of frats. Do you want one? No. So, describe the USA or your thoughts on the USA in one word. Just big. Big? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. This year is an election year. It's going to be effectively Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. What are your thoughts on each of them? Well, I feel like it's really difficult to say. I feel like obviously Trump is not um, a great represent representative of America, unlike Kamala Harris. But I feel like it's difficult to say who's going to win just based on like the swing states and like just what their policies are. Is there someone that you prefer who you'd like to win? Kamala, okay. definitely. Why is that? I just feel like she's a better representative of like America as a whole in comparison to Trump. Okay, in what ways is she a better representative of America? She isn't just like a standard white old man, which I feel like Trump just embodies and well, which she is. And so I feel like Kamala will be able to reach a much broader range of people, unlike Trump, who's mo mostly focused on just rich people. I'm going to push back on that white old comment just quickly. White old man, this is something that comes up a lot. Why is that such a big deal? Like we usually value age and experience. Why is that now seen as something that's wrong? Because in most countries you have a retirement age and he's definitely 
past that. So I feel like if there's like a retirement age for a reason, he should probably enjoy his retirement. But if somebody is still comp competent in what they're doing, do you think they should have to retire? I, yeah, I completely agree. They shouldn't have to retire if they don't want to. But I also feel if you're representing a large group of people, you should focus on like the youth of the country rather than the older generations, which maybe is controversial. Okay. But they're the ones leading the country rather than the elderly people, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Moving along. What do you think of American people? I know you've got some American friends, but just overall. I feel like they're really friendly. Yeah, like they're really nice. Some of my best friends are American, so. Do you have a particular example of a really nice interaction you had with American? aside from your friends I mean like just like anyone who I came into contact with in college was always really super friendly to me regardless of where I met them they all like wanted to have a conversation and I wanted to like chat which was nice what's one thing that you love about the USA Chick-fil-a <laughs> I've never been to Chick-fil-A. What's what would you recommend? What's the number one go to at Chick-fil-A? Definitely the chicken nuggets. The like the like eight piece chicken nuggets are so good. Are they very different to McDonald's chicken nuggets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's real chicken. Okay. Okay, I need to go to Chick-fil-A now. I think there's some in London, right? No. No? Okay, so I have to fly all the way to the US yeah. to go get Chick-fil-A. Okay. And then what's one thing you hate about the US? That Chick-fil-A isn't open on a Sunday. Why is Chick-fil-A not open on a Sunday? For religious reasons. What? It, yeah. So, okay. It's, so, it's a Christian company, so they close on a Sunday. Christian company selling chicken. Okay, it makes sense, I guess. What's one thing you'd like to see changed about the USA? Probably just like some of their domestic policies, like the abortion like laws are really harsh, which I don't think is fair. And just like a lot of the wars on uh, the laws on like women's bodies just should be reversed because it's not really bad to say about. What's something you think is is a positive or the best impact that the USA has in the world? Probably their political status. As someone who studied American history, just like the power they have as a country is like something that no other country can deny and they do dictate a lot of like what happens in the world and what becomes popular, which I think is not always a good thing, but I do think it's like a really positive impact that they can have. And what's the worst influence that you think the USA has in the world? Also their, their international politics. Um, if they wanted to start a war, then that would be game over for everyone else pretty much. See, that's that's what I think. The strengths will also end up being weaknesses, don't they? Yeah. Who is your favourite US celebrity and why? I'm going to say Sabrina Carpenter for now. Okay, why? I just feel like she's kind of fun. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. Okay. Yeah, I love her music. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Right. I'm here with... Jad. Cool. Nice to meet you, Jad. And where are you from? To Jordan. Jordan. Nice. And have you ever been to the US? Yes, I lived there for four years. Where did you live? Uh, Washington, D.C. Oh, nice. What took you to Washington? Uh, college, college. Undergrad, yeah. Okay. What did you study? Economics. Economics. Okay. Yeah. I just keep, to keep finding economics people. I studied economics as well. So the first question is, describe the USA in one word. Diverse. Why do you say that? Lots of different people from uh, different cultures, backgrounds, countries. You know, it's just one big melting pot, basically. As somebody who spent time in the States, what was a highlight of your time in the USA? I guess just the people I met in college. Going on that, what do you think of US Americans? Americans, you know, it's a, it's a very big country, so it depends where you are. I think some, most Americans I met are very nice, very open-minded, very good people. Do you think that was mostly in Washington or all over? Where did you uh, that's from? a good question. I went uh, around the US. I've never been to the West Coast. But uh, like uh, Texas and then the East Coast and yeah I'd say most yeah most people are good people yeah okay. nice okay. people what do you hate most about the USA it's a strong word I don't know like yeah um, I'd just say maybe the food I'm used to food back home and I didn't like the food there honestly so just that yeah okay. and what did you like most about the US what do you like most about the US this is how uh, it's very naturist it's very uh, like uh, mid America is very beautiful so I'll say that the nature which part of middle America did you like most Montana Montana yeah, very beautiful yes okay. so yeah I'd say that nice. Yeah. This election year, Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. Who do you think will win? Oh, that's a good question. I think this is the first time I feel like it's a big toss up. I don't know. I think after the assassination attempt, probably Trump. Would you want to win? Personally, I don't care. Who do you like most? What do you think about Kamala Harris and, and Donald Trump? I don't think I like either of them. I think they're like every other politician, honestly. They're all the same. What do you think is the best influence of the USA on the world? What do you mean by that? What's the most positive thing that the USA has maybe contributed oh, or contributes okay, okay. to the world? I guess freedom of speech <laughs> yeah that okay. yeah and the work maybe how much i feel like all of the western world care a lot about money more than people's like well-being so maybe that prioritizing money over people yeah yeah, yeah okay yeah. okay maybe yeah, I was gonna say you see that in all Western yeah, countries, yeah, but yeah. Who's your favorite U.S. celebrity? He has to be American. I was gonna say Jokic because I support the Nuggets, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I guess uh, other than him, who? Michael Porter Jr. Yeah. He's uh, 
the, the, the shooting guard at the Denver Nuggets. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's, these, those are my guys. Okay. If there's one thing you could change about the USA, what would it be? A cheaper education, cheaper college tuitions. That's a good one. Yeah. Why? So I could have afforded the <laughs> school. <laughs> it would have been easier to pay the tuition. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so all, all for you, I thought you were going to say because you think a better educated USA is yeah. better for the world. But this guy just said for himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, right, yeah, oh, I, th okay. I thought of myself, okay. yeah, honestly. Okay. Yeah. No pubs. Uh, any final words to the USA? I love the US. The US is my second home. And yeah, I had a great four years there and I hope uh, to be back soon. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with Monica. Monica. Melissa. Melissa. And where are you from? Dagenham. 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 So, Essex, right? London. Right. Okay. All right, cool. Have either of you been to the USA? Yes, twice. Twice? Yep. Where did you go? New York and LA. Cool. How long did you spend there? A week each time. Okay, okay. Yeah. You? Can't afford it. <laughs> Not yet. We'll be able to get there. Seeing as you've been to the USA, what did you think about the US when you were there? What, like, how did you find the people? Really, really nice because I was British. Oh, if you've got a British accent, they love you. I've heard this. They love you so much. So yeah, I find it was amazing, especially LA. <laughs> LA was great. <laughs> I love the people. Okay. Free spirits. Great. Describe the USA in one word. Start with you. Dirty. Wow. American dream. That's the way I can explain. American you need American to. American. You need okay. to have the American dream. Okay. To make it in America. <laughs> Going from dirty. Why dirty? I've never heard. No one said that today. Have you seen the videos of like the New York rats and like oh, crawling on people yeah. and like that threw me off? Yeah. yeah. New York is is quite smelly. The subway. Mm, yeah. Is it? Yeah. I've, I've been there. I've been there twice. It's, it's an interesting yeah. experience. Yeah. So this year is the election year. Who do you think will win out of Kamala Harris and Donald Trump? <laughs> Kamala Harris. I don't know who they are, I'll be honest. Mark, she thinks Kamala Harris too. You know Donald Trump. Okay. Who do you want to win? Neither. I don't think they can bring anything to the table. Okay, fair enough. Barack Obama, please. <laughs> bring come back. Who do you want that? What do you, what do you think of Donald Trump and Kamala Harris? I thought Donald Trump was going to jail. Was he not? He's not going to jail. Oh, okay. Most likely not. Well, then that's what I think. I think he should be in jail. Okay, you think he's a criminal and should be in jail? Is that the same guy that was taking money out of something or something got shot in the ear? Yeah, he's not. Okay. Yeah. I, was it Donald Trump? That was Donald Trump. He yeah, okay. was an assassination attempt on his life. Yes, okay, yeah. So, okay. Um, yeah, no, I just think he's still building his wall that was never going to be built. So it's false promises yet again. Okay. Not that it should be a promise. It's a bad thing. <laughs> we don't want the wall. Okay. What do you like most about the USA? The hot men. No, I'm joking. Um, the food. <laughs> the food? <laughs> yeah. Is there a particular food you like from the US? Well, they brought wings up here and I thought that was amazing. Okay, wings up. You? I think what I like about the USA is that you don't actually have to leave the USA to see the desert, to see the snow to see other aspects of it. You can actually stay in it with a car. Yeah. That, that's amazing. It's got everything. Yeah. In yeah. Britain, you do have to jump on a plane, okay. unfortunately. Okay. And what do you hate about the USA? Uh, what I don't like is that actually the healthcare system. I do not like that at all in the USA. I think we're so lucky to have the NHS. I think that it's appalling that, you know, you need to take out insurance just in case you might trip and fall or have a heart attack. And then you have to wonder, where am I going to pay my next bill when I'm in hospital? How am I going to survive? And then you have to run away. I just, I don't know. I, I work for the NHS. I don't agree with that. Okay. What do you do in the NHS, if you don't mind saying? I'm a podiatrist. <laughs> so that's a foot doctor. But that's what they say, right? Yeah, foot, yeah, foot, foot okay. practitioner, okay. yeah. Nice. What do you hear about the USA? Yeah. The drug epidemic. Like, have you seen on Skid Row? It's like actually oh, yeah. really sad. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite US celebrity? St. John. St. John? Yeah. Who's, okay. He's a singer. Like, what's your favorite song of his? Or? Roses. Roses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. You, you've heard of the song. Okay. And you? Oh, I don't know, Rosalia, but she's not um, American. I think she's Spanish. Right. Um, Ariana Grande okay. or Justin Bieber. I don't know. Okay. I'm Hailey not... Bieber. You love Hailey Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is Canadian. Bieber, Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber. Why do you love Hailey Bieber? She's hot. And my mom said I don't like her to like boost my ego, so okay. I'm pretending mom, inside mom, that I don't like her. What's the best thing do you think the US has influenced in the world? I think it's hard to say. I think they've taught us about our legal system quite well, how to sue people. I think we know how to sue people effectively because of America. Okay. Fashion, I'd say fashion. And what's the worst thing that the USA has contributed to the world? What's their worst influence in the world? Drugs. Definitely. I just feel like this um, whole attitude towards people and stuff like that, I just think obviously because back onto the suing society, I just feel like there's no such thing as sorry now. It's like, well, I'll see you in court. You can apologize to me there with a check. There's and no then. reconciliation or trying to sort there things is, out with there you. Is, no, no, no. Everything's very much suing. Okay, okay. Be careful. What would you like to see changed about the USA? Okay, so when I went to LA, I saw a lot of homeless people. That really, really, really affected me. Um, lovely people. They're one of the most amazing people I've ever, ever met. And I stopped one lady and I said to her, why is there such a big homeless society in LA? 
and she goes because it's actually we don't they don't have the benefit system like we have there and the, the homeless charities will only actually pay your rent for two weeks so if you're correct me if I'm wrong was what she told me so if you actually just came out of a job you have two weeks to find yourself something and then your rent needs to be paid and the rent in LA is so expensive and that's why everybody goes to dream they want to be actors they want to be artists so I think if they if they could have more support with that I think that'd be great um, I was thinking about tipping culture it's like very extreme now like I get 25% but then now it's increasing like 50 60 like if I want a match I don't want to pen spend like oh, yeah, that's $25 and then tip like sorry like I don't know that annoys me too. Like in London, we don't tip. That's what I'm talking about! We do tip, we do, we do. I don't tip because the service charge 12.5%. That's good enough. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I'm absolutely with you. Alright, what's your message to the USA, if you have any? Do you know we do love you? Um, become better. So I can live there and become an actress and get revenge on everyone that yeah. did me wrong. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm here with... Champion. Champion? Wow, that's a great name. Champion, that's your real name? Yeah, that's my real wow. name. Wow. Are you where you from? Um, West Africa, Ghana. Ghana? Yes, okay. yes. That can explain the name champion. I guess that's what your parents wanted for you, to be a champion. Okay. Alright, well you're dressed like a champion with that hat. <laughs> so first of all, have you ever been to the US? Never. you never been to the US? Never. Okay, so all your information about the US probably formed, say, through media or um, how do you mean? Probably the okay. media, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. When you think of the US, what's one word that describes the USA to you? That's actually a good question. I would say colonization. Wow, colonization. Okay, expand on that. What do you mean by that? Literally, if you look at the history of the US, that has basically been the essence of their beginning. They started from, from what I know historically, they started from Britain and then they moved and then they took over indigenous land and that's the basis of their colonization. Yeah. Okay. In terms of the current political situation in the US, who do you think will win? I'm not gonna lie. I personally would not side with either okay. and I don't I don't I'm not well informed well enough to say who would win. However, I would I would say they're both uh, they're both as, as bad as each other essentially. Yeah. Why do you say that? Um, essentially because it's kind of like my my moral basis for what I'm saying is looking at what's going on in Palestine right now. There is a lot of pretense since October the 7th, what's been happening in Palestine. It's been like almost 11 months and from neither, neither of those two people have actually said anything concrete and have actually done anything to establish a ceasefire which is what we need so it's their stance or lack thereof on palestine yeah, that, that bothers you okay I, I can get that yeah so given that you think they're as bad as each other who would you want to win out of the two honestly i would not cast a vote you would cast a I vote i would not cast a so vote so if you're american you wouldn't cast a vote i would not cast a vote okay. because essentially even if you think about it right the um, looking at the um, the legal system that that they have going I really, I, do, I personally don't know how America's like voting system works, but I don't really feel like it's in the best interest of the people. Okay. So even if you vote, it's still, you're still going to be worse off either way. Moving away from politics, yeah. what do you like about the USA or love about the USA? Probably the culture, the diversity of culture that there is. Even though like um, historically it doesn't have um, the best uh, reputation. I feel like um, because it's a place where many people from around the world have found um, have found to reside and um, they all bring like different things to the table so I feel like the fact that everyone is kind of welcome and included well I say everyone but you know to an extent yeah. but yeah yeah that's what I think okay. is good. And what don't you like about the US? Do you hate about the US? Just the morals. I feel like obviously politically the morals, uh, yeah, there's a lot of moral failure. Obviously. Who's your favorite US celebrity? I don't have one. If you could change one thing about the USA, what would it be? Their interaction with the world. I feel like to America, America is the center and everything revolves around. I'm mainly saying this in terms of kind of like economically and politically as well. It's kind of like narcissistic in a way, if I have to be honest. That's the, I, I, I understand I don't possibly have the most positive things to yeah, say, yeah. but my stance is basically towards the government. I would personally say if I could change one thing about the America is their interaction with the world. Because if you look at the UN, for example, they carry more political power than anyone in the UN. 
they veto decisions and just because they single-handedly vetoed the decision, it didn't go forward. You'd like how they interact with the world to change. In what way would you like it to change? To be more inclusive and also to take accountability for its wrongdoings because many nations around the world have suffered because of America. Like historically, if you think about as well, like black people, where we come from, like historically the slave trade, everything, it's, it's, it's had a very bad impact, but I feel like accountability-wise, it has not taken anywhere near the amount that it needs to. And still today, I feel like it's still committing wrongs against many people. So yeah, that's something I, I hope what do you think is the worst way that the US influences the world or has an impact in the world? The government, 100%. It always starts at the top. I feel like the highest form of corruption is at the top of the government. With many people don't know this, but when a president is actually elected in America, he's not the official lawmaker. It's actually the members of Congress, the people behind. And when you look at how the laws that they make in the country, the impact that it has on women, their, their decisions about their own body, that's something that needs to change. As well, the impact it has on many people of like ethnic minorities, that needs to change as well. I feel like on every single level, the corruption has seeped through mm. and people it would be very good for people to wake up to kind of reclaim their power and say that this is our America and we would like America to be different and to actually take a look at its history and then try and make some changes because yeah on every aspect there is wrong and finally what do you think is the best impact or influence of the US on the world or in the world I honestly can't give one okay no problems yeah fair enough all right thank you man appreciate it Lovely too. Hi everyone, my name is Cody and I'm embarking on an exciting challenge going from 100 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in one month. I need your help to achieve this. I am a YouTuber, I make great exciting videos, traveling, asking people about hot topics. You can check out my videos, subscribe, follow, share and like. Let's hit this target of 10,000 subscribers in one month. Together we can do this, let the internet unite and let's make this happen.